This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why are my subtools disappearing when I am navigating around my model on the canvas? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo soldier model here loaded in. And the question is asking about when you navigate your model on the canvas, all the subtools of your model disappear except for the one that you have selected. So as an example of this, if I come to a blank spot on my canvas and I just want to click and drag to rotate to the back side of my model, you'll notice as I'm performing this rotation, all the subtools of my model have disappeared except for the one that I have selected. Now once I stop performing the rotation, you'll see all the subtools are going to come back. And this is happening for any of my canvas actions. So if I try to do a pan or a move, I can do that and you'll see that the Subtools are disappearing with that functionality as well, and they're also disappearing if I attempt to zoom in and out on my model too. So no matter what process I do to rotate or navigate my model on the canvas, those subtools are disappearing every time I do that process. So what is causing this, and how can I make it so that this is not happening, and when I rotate my model, I'm seeing all the subtools that this tool consists of, and not having them vanish like this. So this process is happening because you have enabled dynamic solo. So if you come over to this bar over here and go all the way down to the bottom, right above the expose, there is a button called solo. Now solo, when you click this, will isolate the selected subtool and that will be the only thing visible on your canvas. So if I activate this, you're gonna see I'm gonna get that same effect I was getting by just navigating around the canvas. So it's just going to show me only the selected subtool. So toggling this on and off is going to achieve that effect. Now on this button, there is some text at the very top and the text at the very top says dynamic. Now this text here is also a switch and clicking this text here will toggle this dynamic mode on and off. Now if this dynamic mode is toggled on, when you perform any canvas navigation, it's going to automatically switch your model into solo mode until you release and then it's gonna bring everything back. So this is handy if you have a tool that contains a lot of different subtools and all those subtools are very, very heavy. So that means they consist of multiple millions of polygons. So if you wanna rotate around your model, you can turn this dynamic mode on and this will allow you to move or reposition your model a little bit faster and then when you release, all those subtools are gonna come back. So if you do not want this effect to happen, just go down to the solo button here and just turn off the dynamic toggle. So coming across the words dynamic and clicking and make sure that is grayed out. And now when you perform that navigation in your canvas, either a rotation, a move, or a zoom, you'll see that all those subtools are going to stay visible on your mesh. So to recap, if your subtools are disappearing when you navigate on the canvas, make sure on the solo button here that you do not have dynamic enabled. If you have dynamic enabled, it's going to automatically switch your model into solo when you do that navigation process. So just come to the solo button, turn off the dynamic toggle at the top of the solo button, and now when you rotate your model on the canvas, all your subtools should stay visible. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!